Hello and welcome back to Lavelia's Coloring. For this video, we will be continuing with part three of um, my coloring in Tomislav Tomek's Villain Son coloring book, which is my first book for the hashtag Color Your Horde challenge. This challenge is for anyone who wants to participate and it goes on for the rest of this year and we may continue to the next year. The objective is to color in the coloring books we haven't colored in or just have whips and no finished pages. Um, if you have a large collection like I do, you can number your books and use a number generator to pick the book to color or you can pick, uh, pick any <laughs> uncolored books uh, you have to join the challenge. Mainly the goal is to have less uncolored books by the end of this year. So I mean if you if you have a large collection like I do, I number it and then I'll probably subtract it and we'll see if I <laughs> uh, see how this challenge goes for me because uh, you know um, any new books that you get each month you're going to add that to your number of uncolored books and um, I am collaborating with uh, another color tuber her name is Kylara um, so uh, please check out her channel and Instagram page I'll have her link and her um, Instagram name down below in the descriptions uh, and I do have to let you know that my son is here with me as I record so you may hear him pop in now and then or hear some toy scratching or him screaming so <laughs> I'll try to edit out some of them but um, yeah so just be aware that you might hear him in the background so these are the pencils that we will be using uh, for the next part um, for the villain son and move this over so I colored um, half of it and um, I'll be showing you how I colored these um, flowers and the colors and pencils I use will be popping up in the lower left hand corner of the screen and I will also um, put it in the descriptions below too so the first flower we will color is the sunflowers. Um, this is how I colored it on this side. So I'm just gonna show you how I colored that. Now go ahead and move to this side. And for this flower, I'm using all Caran d'Ache Pablos. The colors we will be using is um, the Caran d'Ache Pablo Golden Ochre, which is 033. And then Dark Carmine, which is 089, Bister, 047, and um, Ivory Black, which is number 496. So I'll start off with the Golden Ochre, and I'm just going to do a light layer for all of the sunflowers so I don't miss them. <laughs> so go ahead and... I misplaced my <laughs> glove again, so I'm going to just use this um, mat, which I hope is not glaring no okay so I'm just gonna color all the um so a light layer on top of all the sunflowers so I'm going over the petals here I do have to let you know that um while I was working with the flowers on the other side, um, you know, uh, <laughs> I was looking up closely to um, my page, and even though I did use the Caran d'Ache Pablo, um, the colorless blender, um, I still, you know, it just didn't seem as blended. So I went over the whole thing, but um, this time I used um, the Prismacolor colorless blender because I was able to get a sharper point on it and to get into um, the little spaces and yeah so I further um, blended it with the colorless blender and is that it? just those four? okay so after I put the first layer I come in with 
um, the Dark Carmine number 089. I'm just going to do this one right over here. So I'm just going to put a little bit on this side. A little bit on the top. And then I'm going to come back with the golden ochre. And I'm just going to go over the whole thing. And I may want to add a little bit more too. There. Okay, so that's pretty much what I do with the petal. So, um, and then what I do with the the middle part is I use Bister number zero four seven, and I'm going to just like kind of go around the edge of that. What is that middle part called again? I can't remember. But like, uh, hold on. Let me go ahead and on this side. For this flower, I had the highlighted on the left side because, you know, I wanted the fairy. I wanted the fairy to be the the light source, so the shade is on the bottom right side. So on these <clears throat> on these um, flowers, I will be having the shade on the left, lower left hand side and the highlight part on the top right. And I'll come in with the ivory black. I'm just gonna darken the shade a little bit. And go around. Now I'm gonna come in with the golden ochre color over the whole thing. I'm doing using medium pressure now. And I'll use the bister again to darken up the shade. And the ivory black. So I'll continue with the dark carmine and the golden ochre for the rest of the petals.
Okay, so now that I finished uh, coloring the rest of the petals, I'm just going to come back in with the Prismacolor, Colorless Blender, I mean, whatever Colorless Blender you have, you can use. Um, I just make sure that, I should make sure that it's clean. <laughs> so I don't accidentally add any other colors that, um, where I used this prior, so. Okay, so I'll be right back and we'll finish up with this. Okay, so now we are done with the sunflowers and we will now go on to the roses. And the colors I'll be using. So here's an example of how I colored it. Um, the colors I will be using is from the Karen Dash Pablo Granite Rose number 493, then the Rose Pink number 082, next is Ruby Red number 280, and then Bister again number 047. So I'm going to start off with the Rose Pink number 082. I'm just going to put a really light layer. Uh, for all the roses that are left that I have to color. So I do have a couple up here, so I'll just go ahead and do a light, light layer. Very light pressure. So just, you know, um, doing that first light layer um, helps me to find all the roses so I don't miss it. I know um, as I was coloring the sunflower, I found some little spots like some of the vines that I didn't color. So um, as I find them, I go ahead and color it in. So that's it for the rose pink. I'm going to come in now with the ruby red. and. Starting off with this one because it's. Let me go ahead and zoom you in a little bit closer. Okay, so with the ruby red, I'm just gonna go on this side. Um, the highlight's gonna be going this way, so the shadows are more on the left side, and wherever the folds are, that's where I'm gonna put the darkest pink shade. I just wanted to make the top just a little bit pink and then over here I'm just putting my darkest area Come back with the rose pink. Just a little bit on this side. Now I'm just using real like light pressure. I'm not really pressing it down. I'm just slowly adding the color. I'm trying not to cover it too much because I want to keep um, the highlight on the right side of the rose. I think it's a rose, I don't know. That's what I'm calling it. <laughs> there. And then I'm gonna come 
come in with the granite rose and I'm just gonna go over the whole thing. And that's pretty much just like a, using like a medium pressure. Then I'm going to come in with my Bister and this is just for a little bit of shadow and in the darkest area. Let's go over where I think the shadows are for this rose. So I'm pretty much just guesstimating. Is that a word? I don't know. Guess guessing where um, I want the shadows and yeah there just a little bit then I'm gonna come back with the ruby red and just a little bit more pressure than I did earlier just to put in that color pink and here okay and then to burnish it all together um well, I'm not going to go all over just on the highlighted part, is the granite rose. I'm just going to go over where my highlighted areas are. There you go, and that's pretty much it. <laughs> so I'm going to do the same thing to the rest of the roses, and I'll be right back.
Okay, so we are now done with the roses. We colored the ones on the top and then the, the one more right over here. So um, the next flower we're going to be coloring are these purple and green ones that I did over here. There's only two more right over here. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how I um, colored it and then I'll finish that one last one. So the colors we're going to be using is lime green number 231 and this is the Karen Dash Pablo. We'll also be using bluish green number 200. We are going to be using violet number 120. Indigo blue number 139. And then for the middle part of the flower, I'm going to be using the color Crocus from the Erosion P20. And then also um, the Karen Dash Pablo Al Aubergine, number 99. And then for the little like highlights, I'm using the Uniball Signal. Um, this is the point Eight or 0.7 I think so the, uh, the smaller version of the other gel pen so I'm, so I'm gonna go ahead and zoom you guys in right here so we're gonna be coloring these two um, I'm gonna start off with the leaves the first color we're gonna start with is bluish green from the Karen Dash Pablo number 200 I'm just gonna put a light layer on the leaves Okay, so next I'm going to come in with the indigo blue and I'm going to do one leaf at a time and then I'll go ahead and fast forward, um, speed through the rest of the leaves. So we're going to start off with the indigo and I want to put probably like a, a medium, medium, light to medium pressure, just want to outline the, the leaf. I don't know if it's a petal or a leaf. I'm just going to call it a leaf. I kind of base the colors off um, hydrangeas. I don't think they have <laughs> purplish leaves. I'm not sure. But like the middle part right here, I just... I've been calling it hydrangeas in my head. So here, so I put a medium to light pressure of the indigo blue. And then I'm going to come in now with the Violet 120. And I'm just going to go over that indigo and then just bring it into, just past the line. It's right there. I'm not following the line inside the leaf. So it's about medium pressure now because I just want to lay that dark color of violet and lighten up as I go towards the, the center of that leaf. And then I'm going to come in with the bluish green and do the same thing. I'm just going towards the middle of, um, I'm going to go ahead and put this thick line. I'm just going to color it with the bluish green. And just go around here and then, yeah, so I'm just going to leave like a sliver of <laughs> um, the, the widest part and then in that widest part I'm gonna color it in with the lime green number 231 go like this. <laughs> that and then I'm just going to go back over again with the indica blue. 
and just so it's like with a medium still I like to medium pressure I just want to make sure I lay down the color I want that deep uh, indigo for the outside part and then I'm going to do the inside part of the leaf Now I'm going to come in with the violet. Then the bluish green. There. And then end it with the lime green. So um, I'll show you how I do the middle part. I am going to be using the Erigitin, um Crocus P20. And I'm just going to go over that whole thing, the whole middle part. And it's the head, <laughs> the head of the flower. And then I'm going to use the Caran d'Ache Aubergine, Pablo, or the Caran d'Ache Pablo uh, Aubergine number 99. And then, um, so the, the darkest part, I'm coloring it in the bottom again. So I'm just going to this kind of like not random, but put the shadows um, just where I think it is. I want a lot more light from the top part, so I'm just putting it in different areas around the bottom where I think it'd be shaded and then I'm going to come in with the indigo blue and just to add a little bit more shade um, I'm probably going to go where the creases are of the little buds in the flower. So, here. So it's it's not um, like perfect. <laughs> so I'm just putting it where I think it is. And then I'm gonna come back with the crocus from the Rogitin pencil. And I'm just gonna go over the whole thing and I'm just like medium pressure now. So it kind of lightened up everything, so I'm going to go back in with the Aubergine and the Blue Indigo. And um, like what I did earlier is just um, in certain places, I'm just going to put some Indigo now and There and then now I'm gonna come in with the Uniball Signal. There. Now I will be just like where I think the highlight of the flower is. So you can see it. I'm just gonna kind of like on the tops. Of each of that with um, little bud, I guess that's what you would call it. Or and usually I would do this after I finished the leaves, but I just wanted to go ahead and show you guys what I'm doing um, before I speed through this part. So. So I'm not trying to be perfect with it, I just put um, 
where I think the highlight is. But um, after I color the leaf, I might come back in again with the um, Uniball Signal. Okay, so we finish both of them. Um, what I forgot to do on this flower is to use the lime green, um, number 231, and to just color over the highlighted area. And yeah. Do that. And so now the next flower that we are going to be coloring um, are these um, like maroon leaf-like kind of flowers. I don't know what they are. I kind of based the color off um, one of my neighbor's uh, Japanese maple trees. Um, the one that has like really dark maroon. So the colors I'm using are from uh, the Eroji Ten, the Tombow Eroji Ten pencils, colored pencils. So the first color is uh, Tyrian Purple and it's number DL10 Next one is maroon D12, and the third color is mulberry D9, and then for the little um, middle part, I'm using light green from the uh, Karen Dash Pablo number two two one. So I'll just go ahead and start with the middle part, 
and let me go ahead and zoom you in okay so I'm gonna just shade it in lightly with the what is this again? light green just to put it there and have it done and for the leaves or the petals I'm using the Tyrian purple I don't know if you can see it, the um, thing, but uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and shade or uh, do a light uh, lay a light layer of the Tyrian purple. Now I'm going to be uh, using Maroon D12 of the Erosia 10 colored pencils. I'm just going to color this one. So I'm using Maroon D12 of the Erosia 10 and I'm just going to go down the middle of the leaf and just shade in um, part of it. So a little bit off the top. And a little bit off the bottom. That. And then I'm going to come in with the Mulberry from Tombow uh, Erogeton. And I'm going to follow. This is going to be my darkest shade. So I'm just going to go in the middle of, or the vein of the leaf. Or petal and then just I'm using like a medium pressure now just to lay down the color and I'm gonna come back in with the maroon mm, over the mulberry and then just bring it towards like where I left the white areas the whitest area And then uh, throughout the whole leaf, I'm going to use the Tyrian purple. I'm just going to color over the whole leaf, over the other layers. So that's pretty much what I'm going to do with um, the rest of these. And... <laughs> okay, so I'll show you how I did the middle. It's just a really, really small one, but um, I used the. <sighs> Gonna use the maroon, and then the mulberry as my darkest. So I'm just gonna go try to keep the lightest green shade. Um, will be my highlight. So I'm just gonna go around the bottom. Just like this. Now it's just a small area, but and um, mulberry for its shadow. Come back with the maroon, and then now with the light green, and just go right on top. And I'm just gonna add a little bit more because the. There, maybe a little bit more mulberry. Go down here again. Just 
darken it. Okay, so that's pretty much it. And then, yeah, so I'll go ahead and color the rest of the this leaf and then I'll finish up with the rest. So now we're done with the um, my Japanese maple looking flowers and the last flower we'll color is uh, the blue ones, the light blue ones and I'll show you how I color that one. The pencils we'll be using is also from Karen Dash. So the first one is bluish pale number 371, um, pastel blue number 151, Bluish gray number 145, indigo blue number 139, and yellow number 10. So I'll go ahead and use the yellow first. Um, the yellow is just the, the inside part of the flower. So I'm just gonna, it's just a medium um, pressure. I'm just trying to lay as much yellow down there. Okay, and then around the yellow part, I'm using the indigo blue number one thirty nine. And I just do medium pressure. I want to cover that. Um, area up around the yellow uh, there. yeah so I was wondering how do you guys think about the colors I picked for the flowers um I didn't I don't know when I see like a field of flowers or you know when you look at gardens there uh, for me I see like so many different colors and this kind of doesn't really look like sp 
differing that much. It looks like uh, <laughs> uh, the colors I chose kind of looks kind of like fall, especially because I added the red and the sunflower looking uh, flowers. But you know, um, we'll see how it looks after it's all done. And it's too late now for me to change the colors, so <laughs> just gonna leave it as it is. So now for all the the rest of it, I'm going to just do a light layer of the pastel blue. So just really light um, throughout the whole thing. Rubbing against it. Really light layer. So that some of the colors that I use on the flowers, I will continue to use um, on the two fairies that, um, I guess the fairy goddess is, the fairies that are in the palm of her hand. So uh, I'm, the colors I use on the flowers, I'm going to go ahead and use um, some of them for coloring those little fairies. Oh, and I forgot, um, I'm also using um, the white Posca, um, the 1M or the smallest. Uh, you can use also the um, a gel pen, a white gel pen if you want. Um, and that is for this part. So I kind of just covered the line, um, the inside part with Posca. Go. So now we're going to come in with um, the bluish gray and I'm going to zoom into this flower so you can see what I'm doing. So what I'm doing is just at the outer edge, I'm just doing a light layer um, of the bluish gray and then just bringing it down just a little bit, probably like a third of the flower. Like this of oh, the petal I meant flower. And then I'm gonna come back in with the pastel blue. And then going over the bluish gray and then just bring it down a little bit more. Like this. And then I have the bluish pale. What did I call the other one? Yeah, bluish, bluish pale. Just gonna go. I'm using medium pressure now. I'm I'm pressing down and kind of I want to blend all the colors together. I'm gonna come in with the um, indigo blue, and what I'm doing with the indigo blue is just a hint of that color at the uh, end of the um, petal. Like this. So just a hint of that color. Then I'm gonna come back in with the blush gray. And then this, just bring it down again. And then back with the pastel blue. Just Adding a little bit more color, but not all the way down there. And then the bluish pale. So just, if 
you like in I'm just doing light one now since I did a um, medium or I blended it earlier so like that and then um, with the white Posca and like I said you can also use a gel pen Let's make sure this is working okay so I'm just going to follow that black line that's it and we're done with one petal so I'll go ahead and finish the rest Okay, so we are done with the blue flowers and I'm going to stop um, this video for part 3 um, right here and then we'll start off on the next video doing the borders and the um, little area over here and the fairies. So um, yeah, so I, I, I want to thank you guys for joining me for this part of the coloring for the Thomas Atomics Villainson page uh, for the hashtag color your horde. I hope you guys enjoyed watching and if you haven't watched part one or two of this series I'll add the links in the description below to those videos and once again thank you all uh, please take care and happy colorings bye bye